Hey guys, so as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I took my son's hair from that to these Pop Smoke inspired braids. So if you're interested, please be sure to stay tuned. Now I do apologize because some of these angles are not the best, but I tried my hardest to make sure I got like as much as possible on camera. But he's a toddler, so that's, you know, not too hard to expect from him. But I'm just starting off with freshly washed hair. I already had shampooed and conditioned it because it was just in these twists before. And right now I'm just spritzing it with water just to moisten his hair up a little bit because his hair tends to not hold moisture that much, which I think he got that from me, so I'm just doing that. It's nothing but water and a little bit of oil in that bottle. And I just put it all throughout his hair so it's saturated and easier to comb through so I'm not having him in pain while he getting his hair done. So the next thing I do is, is take this Earth Supply Leave-In Conditioner. I actually got it from Walmart and it's like a semi-thick, creamy texture and it, I just put it throughout his hair. I like it a lot for his hair. I feel like it does retain a lot of moisture. So if you have like coarse hair, like 4A, 4B, then this might be the product for you, but you never know until you try it. So now I got these voices. And just so you guys know, this is the look that I was inspired by to do this. So honestly, he was giving me a hard time braiding his hair, so I did have to braid like that part off camera. And I tried to braid the part that you can actually see without him moving around too much off camera not off on camera so this is what i started doing i didn't do anything but simply just part his hair down the middle and then part it directly down you can see by the look on his face he was not feeling it i guess he was kind of tired but we had a party to go to so i was trying to make sure my son was looking right okay <laughs> So like I said, I'm parting it straightly down. Like my son in the front of his head, as you can see, he don't really have that much hair. Like he has more hair, more hair on the left side of his head than the right side. So I'm trying to like find a method to grow that out without cutting it. Everybody keeps telling me to cut it. But if you guys have like any remedies that you know of that I can do to fix it, then just let me know in the comments down below. So since he doesn't have as much hair right there, I just try to take like a little bit of extra hair. It doesn't look like it'll fill it up, but by the time I braid it, it looks pretty good, so. I just take his hair in the back and I put it in a ponytail. I take my little Demon brush, I got this from Walmart, and I just brush it out gently. Now he does not mind getting his hair parted, he doesn't mind getting it brushed and detangled. He's good on that part, it's just when I start braiding, and I'm not even that rough, is the part that drives me like kind of crazy, but he hates when I braid his hair, and you'll see in a second. So right now I'm just uh, making sure that this is detangled as possible so I don't have to snag his hair at all. So 
So once that's all done, I just take this edge booster to just make sure that his hair is laying down and looks neat neatly as possible and I put on a tube brush you can put on a brush if you want to but I just felt like since his head is so little this would be more precise for me and from then on I'll put a little bit more oh, I'll put it on the perimeter and I'll put it down the whole length on the sides of the braid I turn, I've just realized when I do this my braids come out like 10 times better than if I don't so Once that's done, I pretty much just take the top part and I like to separate it. I feel like that makes the braids come out better. I'm pretty sure that's how you start off stitch braids, but I don't be having the time to do that with his moving self. So I do want to learn how to do stitch braids because I'm pretty sure it's not that hard. But I'll probably have to wait till he get older or try it on an older person like my brother or something. But yeah, that's just how I start off the braid. And I simply... I'm sorry, but this is not a clear uh, image because he kept moving around, but I pretty much just formed my fingers the way that you see there. I don't know how to describe it. And I take my time with it, and I just drag my fingers down the length of the braid. And it's pretty simple. Like, I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain it because once I learned how to do it, it just stuck with me like I really just got to take my time you can't rush through it unless you're like you know a pro at braiding but I found with me I can't rush through it and don't worry he's fussing but I'm not hurting him like he's completely fine I guess he just hate when I keep him in one spot <laughs> He was not being very obedient, so I pretty much had to finish like most of his head off camera and now I'm on the back. And as you can see, like, I'm gonna insert the picture again, but in the back he kind of has it curved. The person who braided the boy here has it curved. He was just... Sorry for that loud noise. My neighborhood is very loud during all times of the day, but yeah, so I'm just making sure that the back is curved and I like where the parts sit. So pretty much the same thing that I did on the previous brace is what I did throughout the whole rest of the head. I just combed through with my demi brush and then I took the edge control that I have and I put it on the sides 
in the top the root of the braid as well to make sure that it looks crisp as possible so I'm not going to talk through the rest of this part because I'm pretty much just repeating what I did throughout the the first part that I already told you guys. So I'll be back once I'm done braiding his hair. So now I'm finally done. The braids came out pretty good. I mean, besides that one little part in the back, but he's just a kid and I'm still learning at the same time. He was being very fussy. I think he was sleepy. But now that I'm done, I'm just gonna moisturize his braids with the Jamaican black castor oil and that mousse right there. I don't put mousse in his hair every day. I just do it whenever I do braids and I just put it on the length of the hair. I find that it helps get rid of the flyaways. So I just do that. And then like say if, I don't think that that edge control is making his hair have white residue, but if you put, if you put mousse over uh, where you put the gel and it leaves the right residue, I noticed that that takes it away. So just in case he was gonna get right white residue, I put that there just in case and I just take the oil and I put it all throughout his hair.
So this is the finished result when I was done with his hair. I think it came out pretty well and I'm really proud of myself because I came a long way. Like this is when I just first started doing his hair. His hair not only has his hair grown, but my skills have grown and I'm just really doing this to just document my journey of learning how to do hair as well as maybe show other people how to do hair. So if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And you can comment down below any more Tyler videos that you would like to see related to him. I'll be sure to do that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.